how to remove carbon buildup on a direct injection engine or a GDI and keep it away. Well, it's pretty simple, but I'm hearing a lot of people say, I wouldn't buy a direct injection engine. There's too many problems. Well, it's here to stay. Nothing you can do about it. The current technology, there's a lot of advantages with it. Fuel efficiency and so much more. Not to mention, guys, all the advantages that you're going to gain because they're going to need direct injection just to go with the future advancements they're working on currently. Now, it's easy to take care of this problem. All you have to do is get yourself a borescope camera. You can check the carbon buildup on your valves, whether you want to clean it manually or you want to use a cleaner. Either way, it's good to save you money on having to buy intake manifold gaskets to change your intake manifold or take it off every so often just to look at the intake valves. Now, you can enter the borescope camera through the intake manifold, or you can find a port on the intake, use it. It's pretty cheap and expensive. Now, another thing you can do is an oil catch can. You can hook up your oil catch can. They're pretty inexpensive as well. Not to mention, you're probably thinking, what about my warranty? Well, you can look it up for yourself. The Magnus and Moss Warranty Act, which you are protected, but don't take my word for anything. Always make sure to look this information up yourself. Check out with your manufacturer. Make sure it's all good. You have no problems. I'm not telling you to do it. I don't want you to go out and damage something, hurt yourself, whatever. I'm just telling you what I would do and what actually works. But that law can actually protect you. Now, the best thing you can do next is clean your intake valves about every 15 to 20,000 miles. You may be able to go a little bit longer, but you'll use that borescope camera to kind of keep an eye on them and see just how long you need to go between cleaning your intake valves. What's the best intake valve cleaner? Well, there's several good intake valve cleaners such as CRC, Seafoam, uh, STP, and Liquid Molly Valve Clean. Some of these, such as the Liquid Molly Valve Clean, you need to pour the Liquid Molly Valve Clean into a sprayer, follow all manufacturer's recommendations, but I pour it into a sprayer. This way I can spray it directly into the intake. Most cleaners will tell you, make sure to spray past the mass airflow sensor. What I'll do is I'll use all the cleaner, allow it to get nice and, you know, wet and hot, make sure the engine's up to operating temperature, just follow the instructions, it's on the back of the can. You'll raise your RPMs up to about 2,500 RPMs. Um, you can lay something on the pedal, if it's a electronic throttle, or if it's a cable throttle, you can do it by hand. Or you can have a person there with you to do it as well. I usually use a steel pole, and that works for both, on the gas pedal and the seat. Just be careful, don't raise your RPMs up too high. Then after you have it at operating temperature and the correct RPMs, you can go ahead and use the spray cleaner. But don't try to just kill the engine completely out. And when you get towards the end, some of the manufacturers actually state to turn your vehicle off, allow it to heat soak for about one or two hours, then start your vehicle back up, go on the highway drive for at least 10 to 15 minutes, that kind of works everything out of the system, you know, you're on the throttle pretty hard on the highway and this will keep the carbon buildup off of your intake valves. It really helps me out a lot, as you can see, how my intake valves started off and it took me forever to get them clean, it would almost seem. I went through every single cleaner on the market it would seem and I was having a lot of trouble, but I finally found some that would work, thank goodness. Guys, if there's any helpful information you can give them, please do so. Drop down in the comments. Let us know any tips or tricks you're using to help out. I even seen that engine oil was working its way through the breather side of the PCV system. Now, as you probably know, the oil catch can is hooked up in line with this. So the breather side of it actually is not coming to the oil catch can but you would still sometimes on some vehicles have a little oil that would still work its way back around to the intake, the throttle, from the throttle. So 
I eliminated that problem simply by making a, a filter screen with an oil catcher from an air compressor machine and you can check that out it's in the videos as well oil uh, oil separator so hey guys anything you can add as I said once again thank you for your kindness and I appreciate you watching Nate's Interactive Auto